Hi, I'm Catherine. Welcome to my channel Nuts About Names. Today I'm going to be talking about Australian names which I'm super excited about because I'm super patriotic. I love Aussie music, Aussie humour, the laid back Aussie lifestyle. So in this video I'm going to talk about names that have some sort of connection to Australia. And some are place names and some are names of historic events or people. Some are obvious and some are a little bit more obscure. They all have some sort of connection to Australia. So you'll learn about Australian names and also a little bit of Australian history too. The names don't have Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander origins. I could do a whole video on names with Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander origins. And I may just do that because so many of them are so lovely and have such lovely meanings. But the names in this video are a little more Aussie Eurocentric. I'm going to list 11 names for girls and I'll do the boys names in a separate video because otherwise it'll be a million years long. So I'll be doing them in an alphabetical order. So let's get started. The first girl's name I have is Adelaide and Adelaide is German and it means high born. Adelaide is the name of the capital city of South Australia and Adelaide was named for Queen Adelaide who was the Queen Consort to King William IV of England in the 1830s. And her full name was actually Adelaide Amelia Louise Theresa Caroline. So that's a lot of pretty names. I love the name Adelaide, I think it's so pretty and I love the nickname Lady, I think that's just <laughs> so cute. The next name I have is Batavia. Batavia is a Latin word. It was a word used by the Roman Empire for the Batavians who were a Germanic tribe in what is now the Netherlands. Batavia was also the Dutch name for the city of Jakarta in Indonesia under the Dutch colonial empire. I chose Batavia for the Dutch ship the Batavia that was uh, sailing to the East Indies in 1629 on a trade mission. And there was a mutiny and the ship was steered off course and shipwrecked on a small island off the coast of Western Australia. Most of the people on board survived, but there were further mutinies and massacres and executions. Uh, so that's a little morbid. Um, but I love old ships. I find stories of shipwrecks fascinating. And the more I say this name, the more it grows on me, Batavia. At first I felt like it couldn't be, really be used as a name, but then I thought people like the name Octavia, so why not Batavia? And the more I say it, the more I am liking it, Batavia. The next name I have is Eliza. Eliza is Hebrew and it means pledge to God, and it's a diminutive of the name Elizabeth. I chose this name for Eliza Fraser, who Fraser Island is named after. Eliza Fraser was on a ship that was wrecked on the Great Barrier Reef in 1836, but some of the passengers um, went in a lifeboat and they made landfall on what is now called Fraser Island, several hundred kilometres south. So again with the shipwrecks, <laughs> I love the name Eliza, I prefer it to Elizabeth. It makes me think of Pride and Prejudice, especially Sir William Lucas in the 1995 version when he's like, I miss Eliza. Eliza is currently number 67 in Australia for girls' names. The next name I have is Esperance. Esperance is French and it means hope. Esperance is a town in Western Australia that was named after a French ship, the Esperance. I do you love my French accent? Again with the ships. I love the name Esperance. I think it's really pretty and different and it's got a really nice meaning. The next name I have is Eureka. And Eureka is Greek and it means I have found it! Exclamation point! I chose Eureka for the Eureka Stockade, which was a rebellion by gold miners against the colonial authority in 1854 in what is now a suburb of Ballarat in Victoria. The Eureka Stockade is sort of equivalent to the Boston Tea Party in that it was a rebellion against a particular tax and against colonial authority. A lot of Aussies view the Eureka Stockade as the birth of Australia and the Eureka flag is used during protests, usually relating to the labour and union movements. It's sort of a symbol of thumbing your nose at authority, which is <laughs> a bit Australian. What do you think of the name Eureka? The next name I have is another E name, Air, And Air is Old Norse and it means Gravel Bank River. I chose it for Lake Air, which is known as Kati Thunder Lake Air which includes the Aboriginal name. It's the largest lake in Australia and most of the time it doesn't have a lot of water in it, it's just mainly salt pans. 
It was named for Edward John Eyre, who was the first European to see it in 1840. I think Eyre is a cool name, but I think it sounds better with an American accent with the strong R sound. Eyre. <laughs> Eyre. It also has a literary connection to Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. The next name I have is Jacaranda. Jacaranda is Spanish and it is a nature name for a tree that has beautiful purple flowers. Jacarandas aren't native to Australia, but they grow really well here, especially in subtropical climates. They bloom in October and carpet the ground in purple. It's so beautiful. It's sort of the change of the season where it's starting to get warmer and the weather is always beautiful. I got married in October and we had jacaranda flowers sprinkled on the ground where we had our ceremony. The town of Grafton in New South Wales is known for its jacaranda trees and there's a song by Cold Chisel that alludes to jacarandas in Grafton called Flame Trees. I think it's a pretty name and you can use the nickname Jack. The next name I have is Matilda. Matilda is German and it means Mighty Battle Maiden which I think is so strong and spunky. I just love that meaning so much. I chose this name, of course, for the famous bush ballad and folk song Waltzing Matilda by Banjo Patterson. The song was written in 1895 and it's about a swagman or itinerant worker making a drink of tea in a billy or a can for boiling water at a bush camp and stealing a jumbuck or a sheep to eat. When the sheep's owner arrives with three policemen to arrest him for theft, he suicides by drowning himself in a nearby billabong or watering hole and his ghost haunts the site afterwards. So Australia's most famous folk song is about a thief who suicides by drowning. But I love the song, it's packed full of Aussie slang, albeit um, obsolete most of it, but people know what it means. And I love the name Matilda. It's currently number 18 in Australia for girls. And I love the nickname Tilly, I think it's so cute. The next name I have is Opal. Opal is Sanskrit and it means gem or jewel. The Opal is a national gemstone of Australia and Australia actually produces 97% of the world's supply of opals. I think the name Opal is really sweet and cute and pretty and to me it has a sort of a similar feel to the name Pearl. The next name I have is Tasman. Tasman is a Dutch variant of a Slavic name that means consolation. I chose it for the Dutch explorer Abel Tasman who was the first European to reach the island state of Tasmania in 1642. Tasmania was originally called Van Diemen's Land but it was eventually named after Abel Tasman as was the Tasman Sea. It's a unisex name so it could also be used for a boy but I like it for a girl and I like it more than the more popular name Tamsin for a girl. The last girl's name I have is Victoria. Victoria is Latin and it means victory. I chose this name for the state of Victoria, which was named after Queen Victoria in 1851. Victoria is a strong name, it has lots of nickname potential, lots of cute nicknames. So the names again are Adelaide, Batavia, Eliza, Esperance, Eureka, Eyre, Jacaranda, Matilda, Opal, Tasman and Victoria. So my favourites, um, my safe name is Matilda, my brave name is Opal, and my guilty pleasure name is Batavia. So I just have a few more names that I could have used as Alice for the town of Alice Springs in the Northern Territory, Coral for the Coral Sea and the Great Barrier Reef, Catherine for the town in the Northern Territory, Kimberley for the Kimberley region in Western Australia, Kylie, which is Aboriginal from the Noongar people, and it means boomerang, and Sydney for the capital city of New South Wales. That's all the girls' names I have for you today. I'll also be doing a boys' video, so go check that one out as well. Comment below, uh, tell me names that you liked or didn't like, um, suggest any names that I missed, and thanks for watching. See ya!